Say hi. Hi. What are we gonna do? Um, we're gonna work on the potter. Yeah, we're gonna push your wash and do all those things. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> some pressure washing here we used to do our hutches um, every month we would move 15 and graduate them to the next barn or wean them or do whatever that stage needed to do so every month we moved calves we had a whole bunch of hutches I think we had 46 we're selling them all and so I used to pressure wash these uh, once a month 15 of them and I really didn't really overly enjoy doing that. So this is gonna be the last time that I have to pressure wash them because I had used them for my calves I bought last year and I just never washed them, so <laughs> sorry. Um, but now we're selling them, so I get to pressure wash them for one last time. And I am not going to be missing this chore. So that's one positive thing that we just got rid of. All right. Here we go. get done so I guess I get another day of three more hutches <laughs> it's like it just doesn't want to end Ooh, that's a do okay um so <clears throat> let's see what am I doing uh, I am I am going to do something now in the holding pen the holding pen is the area that the goats will be in before they get milked so this is the holding pen area And that's the door they're gonna get through to get into the parlor. So, uh, in order for there to be a separation between the ones who have been milked and the ones who are going to be milked, we put this little fence area in. And so now I'm going to zip tie the fence in several different areas here so that it's all skookum. Yep.
have the holding pin almost. I'm so excited, look at my face. I kept the goats in the, like what's gonna be the holding pin uh, during my lunch to make sure that they stayed in. And here you are. Good girls. That test worked, yay. The welder is done for the most part. Uh, he came and he bolted in a bunch of, everything we have that we're putting in is very temporary. So that way, if we expand, which we're hoping to do in the next uh, year and two or two, we are able to move and so it's not just like we did a huge commitment to this setup. So we are keeping everything very loosely put down. What do you think, Levi? Which one's your favorite? Flash. Flash? Flash is your favorite? Hi, Flash. Come here, buddy. Hi, buddy. Flash. Come here. Flashy. Do you like Phoenix? No. Oh, poor Phoenix. Phoenix is your go, Mom. You don't like Phoenix? What? You little boogers. All right, good morning. So today, oh, hold on. Important things to do here first. Good boy. Ready? Okay, so hello, good morning. Uh, today we are gonna preg check uh, our heifers before we put them on pasture so we know if they are too close to calving, we're not gonna put them out there because then they'll utter up out there and then we don't want them to have their calf out there. My dad sent me a video of a newborn baby Angus. So, I'm excited. I don't even know what it is. Let's go check it out. It wasn't in the calving pen, it had it out in the other group. Good job, Georgie. Good job, Georgie. It's a bull, another boy. She just popped that one up and she was, she was the one we were worried about with, uh, she was starting to have some like prolapse stuff going on so I'm very glad that she popped that thing out really nicely and he's up in nursing so it's very good I gotta get Jack back to Gabby here She's not happy about it I was trying to separate Georgie with her new little guy because he was trying to nurse off of Gabby, but now he's nursing off Georgie. So we'll see what they do. We'll watch them. All right, vlog number 10 is done. I actually have enough footage for the next vlog already. Um, like, I need to get editing. I'm already behind. We haven't even started farming yet. Well, goat farming. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. I have been having so much fun uh, sharing this all with you and I've been having so much fun. The weather has been incredible for April. It's been almost a little bit like, I know this makes me sound like such a farmer. I hope it's not too dry of a year if it's this nice already in April, but that's just kind of my, <laughs> That's my little farmer farmer saying for you. Um, but yeah, we've gotten a ton of work done. They're already like hilling the potatoes. I'll have to show footage of that. Uh, they're hilling the potato ground that we're renting out. Um, we have 70 acres in potatoes. Uh, hopefully, we're still on track to have the parlor and everything installed by the beginning of May. Uh, and it is April 19th. So, we haven't had the parlor installed. We have the tanks got pulled. We'll have footage of that. Uh, and 
yeah, so we're have lots more going on. Um, thank you guys so much. Like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We have um, little shorts, kind of like little snippets of our life going up on there uh, every day. Pretty much I put something on there. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys. Have a great week.